Hi. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're getting this link sent to you by us, it's because you've rented our camper. Um, and I appreciate that so much. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of uh, all the features this, cam this camper has and um, show you how to use it and how to take care of it like it's your own. Um, first off, here's the camper. It's a North Trail 24 BHS. BHS is a bunkhouse. That's what it stands for. But anyways, this is the, the side profile that you guys will not be sitting in front of because this is where all the hoses and connections are. Um, on this side, you've got the furnace outlet, so it's probably going to be hot, so I would not put anything next to that or else it'll melt or possibly catch on fire, which would be a terrible of the basement storage most of the stuff will be part of the setup when it's all set up on site so if you need to store anything you can store it in here and it's lockable <coughs> this is the slide out um, on the other side of this is the dinette if you come over this way you're gonna have the power connection right here so try not to trip over the cord um, this right here is for cable if your campground has cable. We don't include a, uh, a, a cave, uh, coax cable to hook up, but um, if you want to watch cable at your campground, um, that's how you hook that up. Uh, this is the city water connection on top, so there will be a hose going into this. There's going to be a pre-filter going into the hose that goes into here, so it's all it's all pre-filtered, but I, I still wouldn't drink it because um, you never know where, how, you know, how clean a campground's water is. Um, this connection down here is for flushing out the black tank. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of that when I pick up the camper. So if you get there and there's a water hose hooked up to this, you probably ought to call me and tell me it's on the wrong one. Hopefully I didn't do that. Um, this right here is an outdoor shower. You've got hot and cold water. So when you come back from the beach or wherever you're camping and you're all dirty or muddy and you want to wash your feet off before you go into the camper, I would recommend that. There's your hose. We come around this side. Um, there's really not much to see over here. There is a back window for one of the bunks and all these windows open. So you get nice, fresh, good airflow. Um, this does come down. Um, and it would be for carrying bikes or a generator or something along those lines. But it'll probably be just like this when you get there. This right here, underneath this cover, is the outdoor kitchen. Um, little mini fridge, dorm style fridge. This right here is the Magic. It's an ice maker. All you do is fill up the reservoir and I'll show you the reservoir. So you just pull out this ice tray where the ice collects and you fill this tank right here up to the line where it says max. Drop your ice tray back in. Then you have on off and then you can select the size of your ice cubes, which is fantastic. And this thing cranks out some ice. It's like 26 pounds a day, I believe. Should be enough for smoothies, drinks, whatever it is you want to do. Um, this is a little gas cooktop. We've never used it. I'm sure it works great, as long as it's not windy out. But uh, as you know, gas cooktops, when it's windy, it's a terrible thing. You can't block enough wind. However, not shown in this picture, we're gonna have a little Weber gas grill set up outside here. And that hooks up directly underneath here to the gas line. So I'll connect that when I set this all up. So you would, won't need to bring an extra gas bottle. I'll actually include an extra propane tank just in case you run out of the two that are on this already. Um, but the gas will already be on. All you're gonna have to do is turn it on on the grill and hit the igniter and it'll fire right up. Uh, there's also a functional sink with hot and cold water. And there's a light in here for nighttime. You just push the little light and it turns on. Those are slam latches, so it actually 
secures nice and nice and tight. Um, here is a uh, heater vent for, I think that's the furnace. The other side was the hot water. Confusing myself. Um, this is a city, this is a tank water connection. So if you're dry camping, you rent this thing to dry camp with us, um, you would fill your potable water right in here. I think there's a 42 gallon tank in here for fresh water. So if you're low in water, that's where you fill it. Um, this is the refrigerator outlet. Um, this is a little drip tray when you're on propane to uh, keep your fridge nice and cold. Um, and all the condensation comes out of this little drain line. Um, you've got GFI connections out here for power. Up here, we have speakers for your entertainment while you're outside barbecuing, eating your lunch, your dinner, whatever it is. Um, so you have tunes. Uh, we have, here's the entrance, nice solid steps. Here's the railing, which is great. And the door. So door functions, you've got a screen door. If you pull this little latch right here, you can pull the screen off of it. You shut this little, uh, little door and you've got a nice screen door. So you can get great airflow. On a beautiful day like this, it's perfect. Um, but when you want to shut everything up at night, it locks right back in place on the main door. And you don't have to lock this door. It's got friction hinges on it. So the, do the wind actually can't blow this door at all. It's actually pretty solid. I like it. Um, inside, the first thing you're going to come to of these two switches down here, right where we come in. This is for the slide. Don't bother touching that, please don't touch it. That's for the big slide out. This, however, is for the awning. And I'm gonna show you how to extend it and how to retract it. So you push extend, obviously. And it's a power awning. It's not windy on the campground when I set this up. I will put the awning out already. But uh, if the wind does pick up while you're out, please close it because these don't hold up well against high winds. But it works well against any type of cover and it's great to eat under and you can actually eat outside when it's raining out. But if it does rain while your awning's out and it's not windy, you should angle the awning a little bit and the way to do that is you pull down on this arm right here if you want to angle it this way and the same arm on the other side if you want to angle it the other way away from wherever you're sitting or wherever your stuff is but you pull down like this and it puts puts a nice slope on the awning so the rain can actually run off of it um, also inside the door here when your awnings out up on the cabinet up here you've got a couple of switches actually three switches none of them are labeled i'll work on getting the labels on eventually but uh, this first switch is for led lights that are on the awning and these led lights are controllable by this remote right here and you can make it anything you want um, but sometimes you have to get close to it to change it. Um, right now it's just on flashing. Um, I prefer white myself and not flashing. Um, if it's not reacting, I'll show you where to go to bring this remote so that it will react to you. So if we can step back down. So the receiver for this remote is right here. You might just have to get a little bit closer to it. You can push white, I think. There we go. So everything's white um, and you can change the intensity of it, a bunch of different things. I'm not a big LED kind of person. I don't know anything about it, but these seems to uh, light up your campsite pretty good. It's actually perfect. So this has a Velcro back on it and we stick this on the cabinet right next to the switches. Um, and I'll shut the, uh, the awning lights off. 
right next to that is another light switch. You won't be able to see it right now, but it actually has a little light underneath the stairs and it lights your path to get in so you don't trip and fall down your stairs when you get here when you get here this light switch right here is the main lights in the trailer you come in right now you can see it's on and the main lights are on inside the camper off on works fantastic um, you get the main kitchen layout right here this is uh, to dry your dishes when you wash them a nice big farm sink almost um, with a retractable hose hot and cold water great little cover and uh, this is the best way to transport it right here so inside here we'll include a sponge for washing dishes and uh, a heavy duty burlo but keep that on if you would keep that on a, uh, a napkin so that the sink doesn't get rust stains in it great. Um, we've got paper towels, we include uh, knives and uh, some scissors and sharpening stuff for food prep. Inside this first cabinet we've got all the dishes, silverware, glasses, coffee pot, coffee cups, cookware, etc. Um, most of the stuff is not breakable, most of it is not microwavable either so um, I would recommend not sticking any of the dishes in the microwave. Um, here's a standard microwave, speaking of that. And it's just a simple little microwave, works just like your microwave at home. Uh, there's little storage drawers underneath here with some cooking utensils in them. Can opener, bottle opener, um, stirrers, some other stuff. And under here we store things like uh, trash bags and storage bags extra sponges. Underneath here, this is for your drinking water. Um, like I mentioned before, when you have your water coming in, it's going to have a filter on it, but this is a Brita filter as well. So I fill this from the tap and it gives you nice clean water to drink. Also underneath here, we keep our the toaster. So if you want that morning toast for breakfast, there it is. Um, here's the cooktop. This is a spring-loaded glass cover, which works great. Um, you have three burners, a little light so you can see it. You can see what I'm doing, uh, which is kind of neat. And all you do is go to the little flame-looking guy on the arrow, line them up, click it. It's a little windy. There we go. Works great. Let's shut the light off. Close that. Uh, here's your fridge. Um, it has little little catches right here. So you put your hand on the handle, push with your thumb. You can open the fridge. It's got good storage, enough for a whole weekend at least, and a decent freezer. Same thing. We put a little ice tray in here. Try to keep that full. Uh, the bunk beds are actually full-size mattresses, which is fantastic. There's plenty of room for kids, big or little, doesn't matter. And uh, the windows do open, so they can have some pretty fresh airflow. And then there is a privacy curtain right here. Inside here is the bathroom. You got a little storage. Um, shoe rack so you can stick your um, your bathroom stuff like you know dryers and uh, shampoo conditioner stuff like that and inside it's just a simple little bathroom it's nothing glorious uh, but we've got hand towels and face cloths and bath towels over here and little hooks to hang and dry um, and the shower is it's got a tub which is great for little ones and um, it's it's perfect for our little kids anyways. Um, here's a vent for the bathroom so when you're using the toilet push the button and you could ventilate so you don't stink everybody out of the camper. Um, the toilet is actually a porcelain toilet it's not plastic it's not a camper toilet it's a real toilet um, and what I like to do when I'm camping is put a little bit of water in the bowl so that it keeps a little seal over so you don't get the smells from the tank underneath. Now if you come in here for a second I'll show you 
It's another feature. This is where all your tanks are and your battery levels. So right now the battery is full charged. Fresh water tank is empty. Black water tank is empty and the gray water tank is empty. Um, and when you're hooked up with connections, electrical connections, you'll see the blue lights on, that's for your electric water heater and you're gonna want that on. But if you're dry camping, you'll probably use leave the water pump on and leave your LP heater pump on. And uh, here's a little bit more storage inside. Um, over here, we have a little pantry set up for storage. This is where we keep the coffee press. It's magic. A uh, little mixing bowl. There's a flashlight in here, an extra roll of toilet paper, and a fan. Right below here is a vacuum. So underneath this seat right here, there's a green bag, and it's got a vacuum hose and connections, and you can clean the camper, and it reaches every spot on the camper to vacuum it up, and it's, and it's perfect. Down here's the CO monitor. Please don't block that, so if you're on LP um, or using heat, you're gonna want that on so that you don't die while you're camping. Uh, another light switch, this is for above the dinette. And there are also little lights underneath everywhere. You'll notice there's lights everywhere. And there's storage under here and everything. And then over here we have the TV. Um, we keep the, every, all the remotes are Velcroed. So here's the TV remote. And I will set it up when I set up the camper. So you get antenna channels, whatever you can get, whatever the reception is. But on this side is a funky looking little remote and that's for the stereo. And this stereo is actually a DVD player as well. So I'll turn it on. And there are speakers in the ceiling in here. It's nothing fancy. The stereo, so you can have tunes while you're out camping. Um, and if you push two buttons, these are for the zones. So this is zone two. So if I push that, the speakers outside are now playing music. You can shut this off. So zone one is off, so inside the camper is off. But the speakers outside are working. Um, and this is also the DVD player. So you would put your movies in here and the, the movie would play over the speakers as well. Uh, we'll go into the master bedroom here. Inside here, you've got a queen bed. And these are privacy sliding doors. So you can have your own room. And when these doors are slid closed, you'll see light switch for the, for the bedroom. You'll see that there's a panel to the back side of the TV. And if you pull this pin right here, this whole panel can pivot 180 degrees so that you can have TV in the bedroom. And it works great. But you can only really watch TV because if you're watching a movie, like I said, it comes over the speakers and those people that you're trying to keep sleeping won't be sleeping. Um, and there's plenty of storage inside here and there's overhead reading lights inside and outlets next to each bed, which is great. And there's little hooks that are hanging all over the place for hanging your stuff. Um, And then we have little storage hanging on the doors, which is great as well. So you've got to be creative. And then one last thing I want to show you. So here's the dinette. Also converts into a bed. In order to convert it into a bed, you don't use this table. A lot of campers do use the table, but this one doesn't. So in order to swap this over to a bed, you pull the table off. Pull these two legs out. And in front of, this is where I store it in front of the queen bed. There's a little wooden table. Right here. It's got two legs on it that lock into place. And these, this slides over the little lips that are on here. It's actually one lip. Then you take this pillow down, and you put it upside down, it tends to stay better. So then you have a nice full bed right here, so you can sleep two more people or 
I would say one, but you could squeeze two little ones on here easily. Um, and this is how I like to travel with it anyways. And I leave the bed, uh, the table on top of the bed. Um, I don't think we're missing anything else. Oh, uh, next to the bed we keep a little spray. Um, it's called Sleep Spray. And I recommend you try it out. In case you're having trouble sleeping at night, stuff's amazing. It's magic, and if you want to know more about it, reach out to us after your camp camping trip, and I'd love to tell you about it. I can't really think of anything else. Oh, one other thing, the uh, heating system. Right here is the thermostat. We have a, you have a power button on the left. Right now, I don't know if it can power up, but you just cycle through, so I don't think the fan will kick on. Maybe it will. Oh. Yes, so that's the fan. I don't think it'll turn the air conditioning, but it also has the heating connection here too. So you just turn the fan on, turn the heat on, and that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us. Um, I'll put a link to our account on uh, on the bottom of this video, and. Uh, Thanks for watching.